Hi, I'm Jack Mannix from Walker Farm in Dummerston, Vermont. We raise uh, about 30 acres of vegetables organically. 10 to 12 acres of that is in sweet corn production. Yeah, through the season, we plant corn about seven or eight times, uh, three or four varieties each planting, and it's all sold retail through our farm stand. The corn earworm has been a difficult pest for us to control organically in sweet corn. We set up traps to monitor uh, corn earworm populations that usually come from the west or uh, from down south. And um, as soon as we start picking up uh, two to three moths uh, per week, we'll start using the zeolator uh, that contains a mixture of uh, Bt and uh, corn oil, and that's applied about Oh, four days after silk or when the silk starts turning slightly brown. It's applied to the whirl of the silk and uh, bleeds down the silk and has been a, an effective uh, method of uh, killing the corn earworm. My daughter Kristen is going to demonstrate the zeolator. It consists of the uh, canister which uh, holds two quarts of BT mixture and the uh, zeolator is preset to emit half a milliliter of the mixture into each ear. And that's enough generally for us to do one eighth to one quarter acre at a fill. The reason that we mix the corn oil with the BT is because the corn oil suffocates the larvae as it works its way down the silk. And the BT also helps to kill the larvae if it eats anything on the way. It's important to use a BT product that's labeled for sweet corn. The university has advised us that it's legal to use corn oil on a food crop. Right now we send out one person at a time who walks down the aisles and does one row at a time, comes back and does the row on the other side. If we get more guns, we'd like to send out more people, get the job done faster. On a block uh, about um, 600 feet long by uh, 100 feet wide, um, it's taken us uh, six to eight hours to go through. It's important for us to have clean corn at our stand. Um, even though we grow it organically, uh, the, our customers don't like a little worm waving at you when you open up the tip. And so we strive to have 100% control. Realistically, with the zeolator and uh, through, uh, through our monitoring, we're getting anywhere from 90 to 95% control, even in a bad earworm year. And in order to make this whole thing work, we have to get a fair price. It has to be fair for us and fair for the customers. We have to be able to afford to do it. So we start off with a price that is pretty, pretty high in the beginning of the year, uh, but we keep it there. And our customers seem to be willing to pay it if the quality is good and the flavor is there. Thank you. 